what's up you guys um i hope you guys had a great weekend i know i did um anytime uh i get to go to church on sunday and listen to pastor jake's talk and talk to my son always a great time always 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 blessed um i'm coming to you guys i want to tell you guys a few things about uh remember who you are don't let anybody perception of you bug you um I'm paraphrasing here, but Pastor Jake says this stated really got me, got me going. So you, your emergency, your problem does not constitute an emergency in my life. Now, what I take from that, because see, people don't understand something. When a pastor talks, the Holy Spirit moves in you. And the Holy Spirit tells you what you need to hear, not what everybody else needs to hear. See, just because you heard something does not mean that there was next to you. Because see, Here's the same thing. What I mean by that is, Pastor Jake's preaches on a sermon, okay? And I hear something in my heart, in my mind, and I'm going, that's right, that's right, and I lift my hands, whatever. And I'm with him. But Jackie Joy, who sits next to me and listens to the same sermon, hears something entirely different. So what that means is this. You can't judge every Christian for their beliefs, Okay? You have to look at a person. So don't, don't let people constitute what you need to do in your life for your emergency. That's what I don't get about some of these people who, who try to quote the Bible all the time on the news or wherever. And they're like trying to quote. The, and see, atheists take all that and they take what one person heard and they use it against all Christians. Which makes no sense to me. How are you going to tell me just because that Christian believes something way off, I'm the same way? No. If you, if you don't know what we're talking about, if you have not heard it yourself, shut your mouth. So what you heard or what your, your what you believe does not cost an emergency in my life. Hence, you know, so don't let somebody who, who, who judges you on MS, on how you're dealing with MS, constitute an emergency in your life. That's their problem, not yours. Okay? Now, um, a lot of people go, well... He's going to the gym and, and also he's not really just hip. Really? I'm not. I'm not walking funny. I don't. It's not hard for me. It's tough. Okay. Um, this is no easy task. I'm not saying I go to the gym and it's super easy and you guys can be, get a hospice and don't worry about it. Oh, no, 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 no. MS is one tough beast to conquer. All right. I've been doing this now for six years. Um, Four years of which, four, four and a half years of which, or two and a half, three years, I was in a hospital and hospice. Four years I've been battling trying to get my voice to talk, talk a whole lot. But if you watch my videos from when I first started, I was slurring left and right to now. I'm still slurring. That's because I tried to talk really fast. But that's a problem. I guess I'm, I'm uh, talking for all of us now. I shouldn't be. But that's from Puerto Ricans. We talk fast. Um... There's a lot of work that needs to be done, people. I have a lot of work. You have a lot of work. Don't let nobody else's, what they say and what they think, constitute an emergency in your life. Your thing, all right? So do what you got to do. It's what I'm trying to tell you. I've been trying to say it from day one. If you watch all my videos, I've been saying it from day one. It's your pieces to the puzzle. You. Yours. I'm never going to judge you on what you deal with. I don't judge Jackie on what she deals with. She has a hard road. And I think her story is 12 times better than mine, which she um, denies. She tells everybody that my story is the best, whatever. I don't know. But look, somebody who's been dealing with MS for 20 plus years and she's doing what she's doing now. She's fighting is, is really hard every single day on her way. See, I go to the gym. I'm blessed enough to get up, get my butt up, take a shower, go to the gym and not be tired. If she walks, uh, you know, the half a block, she's pooped, beat. I can't judge it. I don't know what that's like. Well, I did when I was in hospice, but once again, I'm a young man. I used to weight lift. I used to do all this uh, active stuff. Now, so my body, that's what it does. Where she was just a workaholic behind her desk, worked 90 hours a day. She's crazy like that. But I can't judge her on hers. But I have to try to, to show her my theories in a way that she can understand. Because, see, she's not going to hear the same things that I hear in my mind. 
So when I teach someone, or when I'm telling somebody, or when I'm trying to uh, uh, push somebody in the right direction, I have to do it in the way that they'll understand. And see, not I don't I, I yet me lately are lit at all. It's hard for me to explain how how to do this because it's it's I know what to do for me. What to do for you, I don't know. I mean, if I see a situation, I can give advice. Um, what to do as far as uh, what what I've done, and then advice off of that. <clears throat> so that's why I keep saying, and I even wrote my books. Take what I've done and build on it. Use it your way, and then write about it, and then tell me what you've done, so I then can build off of that. And see, we constantly just keep building off each other. So. Don't take the negativity and 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 let it beat your mentally down. Because if you mentally lose, you're physically gonna lose. So remember, what somebody says does not constitute an emergency in your life. The emergency in your life is the fact that you need to beat a mess because you are no one. If you can't get up and do things, what are good are you to somebody else? And so that's something that I learned in hospital, or somebody told me in the hospital. What good am I going to be to my son? I mean, because I was really wanting to be with him. If I can't get up for myself. So that's what drove me to do better and to do more. Is because I can't be a good father or an effective father to my son. Even though I'm now almost 2,000 miles away. But I can't be an effective father if I'm not, if I can't speak well enough, which I couldn't do. If I couldn't eat, if I had a nurse with me all the time. If someone had to write down what I said, he's not going to hear nothing over there right over the phone. So, I work I work hard now, and I go to the gym now because I want to be the best I can be for my son. So, my son turns 18, 19, 20, and he does with the, the, the stresses of life. Everybody goes through it. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you have, what status you're in. Everybody has a lot of drama they deal with. Simple as that. So, everybody says, well, well don't get somebody who's drama free. That's... Everybody has drama. There's no one who's not drama free. It's just a different type of drama. See, people are, don't always are looking only at their strength. They're like one of those horses with one of the gazes. Take them down, people. Look around you. Everybody you talk to, no matter how good they look like they have it, they have drama. I have drama. A lot of it. And I try to, I try my best not to portray it on anybody else. That's the difference. My drama is mine. And I have to figure out ways to deal with it my way. So your drama is yours. So I what, what now what you gotta think of in that is once again, don't let what they say and what they're doing, that drama that they're throwing at you, don't let it constitute an emergency in your life. Unless it's life or death, or unless it's to do with your siblings or you know, like your 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 son, your daughter, your brother or sister. Um it's not an emergency sorry for the question, this is my protein bar. Um But people, you've got to do that. Um my video on protein and creatine, it should help a lot. I really believe that wholeheartedly that that would help you a lot. Because remember, what you can't mentally be, okay, I'm going to do this. And then put trash in your body and expect your body not to be a trash can. Make your body clean and then move forward. See, stop trying to bite off big chunks of MS when it's little chunks going to equal a big chunk, but you're you're healing all the way up, so all this is healed now, instead of trying to bite off a big chunk and you healed nothing, all you did was make your mentally self feel good, you should mentally feel good before you even start, if you don't do that, then you're never going to win, just, I know that I jump around and I talk and it's weird or whatever, I don't know, I, I hope it helps you, I really do, I really hope that, that my words come across and, and my my knowledge of the situation. I mean, I've been dealing with MS since 2003, relapsing, remitting MS. Um, I had two two uh, relapses, one major that put me in a hospital hospice, as you, you well know. Um, I've written two books. I write a blog. Um, I do videos every single day. I know people are like, oh, great, video. But you know what? This is me. Um... It, this is not easy. I'm not going to let somebody... Another thing I want to tell you guys. I put it on my Facebook yesterday. I'm not going to chase nobody. I feel I'm worthy enough and I'm 
and, and, and I'm a good enough guy to where I don't need to chase. Simple as that. If you don't want to be with me, fine. Bye. That goes for friends and, and potential girlfriends, which there were some, but not many. And I really don't care anymore. I just don't care. Because I've been dealing with no females since my baby's mother left, and I'm happy now. I remember, I found out that I was stressed out when I was worried about what people thought. I don't care no more. I'm right. Either you like me or you don't. So I'm not going to chase no more. People are going to have to chase me. Because as I get in a better position in my life, which I'm in a phenomenal position now, but as I get in a better and better position, I'm going to see, I'm going to notice those fake people who are going to jump up right when they see the goodness and the ones who be with me all the time. I see you. So don't let somebody else's situation, what they say, what they do, and how they are, constitute number two in your life. Be you. All right? Take care.